Okay, PowerPoint is a necessary evil that we've all got to get over with. It's not going away, so as a designer, you have to hand things off to somebody who's using PowerPoint. And it drives me crazy when I'm sitting there and I'm watching a presentation and we see the dreaded white box. You know what I mean, where a graphic has been created and there's that white box around things. That, that should not happen. There's a good chance you're creating stuff either in Photoshop or in Illustrator. I want to show you how we can easily take stuff from Illustrator right to PowerPoint and preserve all the gorgeous transparency. Let's go have a look. All right, I'm putting together a very simple logo here. I've got some text. Here's a graphic style. So I'm just creating this. This could be your logo that you've already got made. And there's my nice 3D treatment automatically on here. Uh, what you might not notice is that the white background inside here is actually transparent if you go to the View menu and you choose Show Transparency Grid. You'll see our transparency grid show up. It's also a keyboard shortcut if you want to grab that. If you export this out to print, then that turns white. But if you go to any web format, all of a sudden we have magic transparency. So what's a good format? Well, Illustrator has had this ability for quite a while in the file menu, save for Microsoft Office. And let me just stop here and say, don't use this. <laughs> I know you think this is probably odd. We're talking about PowerPoint, which is part of Office. Why don't I use this? Well, I'll show you how. Let's go to Save for Office. I'll dump this as, and you can see it's making a PNG file, a ping file, or a portable network graphics file. I'll stick this on my desktop, Save, and then we'll jump to PowerPoint, Insert, Picture, there it is and there's the dreaded white box. So most people will just stick that in the corner and that's my graphic and they'll be done with it. And I think that looks awful. And if you're the designer of that logo, then you probably are just shuddering at this point. It's like my perfect logo, beautiful. So the ping format, the default inside Illustrator is an okay format if you don't mind having a rectangular output. So if it's a chart or a graph or something, uh, great, use that. But if you want transparency, we gotta dig a little bit deeper. So instead of using that, we go to the file menu and bypass this one and go right to export. Lots of formats in here. The one we want is this one, the PNG format. So I'm just gonna put a T at the end of this because this is the one that with transparency. And watch what happens when I click export. I get a dialog box. I didn't get this before. The background color is transparent or I can make it white or black or other. I'm gonna leave everything just like this, 300 pixels per inch and transparent and leave type op optimized hinted. Don't worry about that stuff. Just hit okay. And now we'll go back to PowerPoint insert, picture, it's this easy. There's the one with T on it, and look at that. Look at the drop shadow on here. Absolutely gorgeous wherever it goes. So if you put this in front of uh, any other element inside PowerPoint, it's gonna be nice and transparent wherever it goes. It's that simple to get gorgeous artwork out of Adobe products and into Microsoft Office. You can also do this in Photoshop. It also has transparency inside. Just make sure in Photoshop you don't have an underlying layer. You know, by default, you have that background white layer. Whatever's transparent in an Adobe application can be transparent in an exported ping file. So portable network graphics. Let's get your gorgeous looking graphics out of our Adobe products and into PowerPoint and make them look great.